So you guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. As you guys saw earlier this morning, I took a 6 a.m. berries class. I can't believe I even got up that early and got to the class on time. For the rest of the week, I actually wanted to go to berries every single day, so I'm gonna challenge myself and get back into it. Today was day one, so we will be going for the rest of the week. But anyways, I had a slow start to my morning. I was super tired, probably because I got up so early for my workout class, and I started editing Vlogmas Day 7 fell asleep for like 30 minutes and now I am picking up my mom we're actually going to a doctor's appointment for me I will basically be spending the entire day with my mom and running errands with her so I will take you guys along for that we will probably grab some food together and just hang out I love spending time with my mom she is like my literal best friend but let's go get her <laughs> running errands with my mom. We went to a couple of stores. I needed to go to my doctor's appointment. We met up with my sister to grab some lunch. Now I'm home and I'm planning on making that chili tonight for dinner. So we will do that together. I just thought we would have a relaxing night in. Let's first do the advent calendars before I forget. So obviously Sugar Fina, we are on day number seven. Day number seven is right over here. So day number seven are these tea strawberries hmm they kind of taste like the ones from yesterday but really yummy and then I also have of course my chocolate advent calendar right over here it's a little Christmas tree I'm thinking I need to start a load of laundry because I don't want laundry to build up this weekend. So I'm gonna throw a load in so I can finish by the time I go to bed. So I finally put up the rest of our ornaments and then I also ran by Target when I grabbed these little hooks for the ornaments. I saw these and these were in like the $5 section and I thought they would add a nice touch to the tree because we don't have a lot of glass ornaments. It came in a pack of nine I believe but the other ones that I put up on the tree are just these glittery ones and I think they're really beautiful and now I feel like we have so many ornaments on our tree. The tree is definitely complete now. We're in my office guys and I don't know if I've shown you the craziness of how my shoes have gotten. I definitely need more storage or something because I just line up all my shoes here but I feel like I need a much better way to store them because obviously I like to display my nice shoes over here but it doesn't have enough room for all of them. So then I also have this drawer that I got from the church sale a while back ago. So I started storing my shoes in here and it works actually really great because I do still have a ton packed in all three of these. 
like seriously and then even in my closet area i have more shoes so i have shoes kind of exploding out of every corner i feel like i need a better method to store them i also want to bring some of my jackets from home and hang them up over here but i don't know i'm just afraid of things getting too cluttered and i don't like that feeling also i don't even know if i have even shown you guys this mirror it's been a minute since i've done a apartment update I actually got this mirror like two or three years ago and never hung it up because I didn't have enough space for it. But now that I do, I hung it up and I got these clear bulbs from Home Depot and I love it. This definitely goes super bright if I want it to and you can dim it on the side. You can also plug in a phone charger on the side of this mirror, which is really nice, but I love it. It's from Impressions Vanity and it's such good quality. It's like the perfect vanity mirror for me. And then I just have a smaller mirror mirror from Ikea. This is my vanity setup currently and I really like it but I don't know if it's really that stable just laying against the wall like that. The box didn't come with a stand or anything like that so I didn't know if you had to buy that separately because I didn't. Either I need to mount this against the wall or figure out another situation because I feel like this is definitely not the sturdiest. I definitely can see a huge difference in the lighting quality when I film here or just doing my makeup in general. The lighting is just really good. Before, this is what it looks like and filming stuff in here was always just terrible. Now I have a whole setup and this isn't even on the brightest setting and I'm a huge fan. I think now I want to cook some dinner because me and Paul are really hungry right now and I'm excited to try a new recipe. So I'm going to use the always pan today as my skillet. I love the always pan. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it is this really nice pan that basically is non-stick and makes cooking so much easier. I like this black color, so I'm just going to put some olive oil in here and caramelize the onions and then add the garlic. Next, I just added all of the seasonings into this little bowl, but this is cinnamon, cayenne pepper, chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, salt, and I believe that's it, but I'm gonna add this to the meat. The meat is done browning, and then I'm gonna add the pepper. I will list the whole recipe down below if you guys are wondering about measurements, just because it's kind of a long recipe, but instead of poblano pepper, I'm using jalapenos into the mix. Hopefully it still turns out well, but that's all I have, and I forgot to grab the poblano pepper of course so I wish you guys can smell this but the meat is done I incorporated all the spices and the pepper and then now I'm gonna transfer this mixture into the crock pot and add more ingredients This is one bay leaf, but I feel like these look really small, so I'm just gonna put two of them. And then this is the final mixture. Looks very saucy. So we will see how this turns out. I'm gonna let this cook for about four to five hours on high. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. And we will top this off with some cheddar cheese and some green onion when we are done. So it's been four hours, and I actually switched it off to warm. But this is what the chili looks like. I need to stir it around, but this smells so good. I did add some black beans because the recipe didn't call for any beans, but I felt like I needed beans in my chili, and Paul agreed, so we will be eating this for dinner.
dinner was delicious guys I highly highly recommend checking out that half-baked harvest recipe for the chili I will put it down in the description for you guys because I feel like it is probably the best chili recipe I have ever tried I've been obsessed with the crock pot that we just got I feel like I've been looking for so many different recipes to make in there because I'm having so much fun with it we just cleaned up the kitchen and put away the chili but Paul and I are just going to rest for the rest of the night and probably pop on a Korean drama show or something like that. We finished Prison Playbook if you guys have heard me talk about it and it was so good. I would have to say the ending was okay but I'm just sad that we don't have anything else to watch for now but if you guys have any Korean drama recommendations please leave them down below. We have watched almost all of them on Netflix so we would love a good recommendation. I'm just gonna pop on this Dr. Jart face mask while we are watching a show and then head to bed kind of early tonight because tomorrow I have a super busy day and I will take you guys along with me but thank you so much for watching guys I really hope you guys have been enjoying my vlogmas content don't forget to like and subscribe guys it would really help me out a lot and I will see you guys tomorrow bye guys